comfortable with looking at anywhere on the camera, actually, so. Awkward forced candid comment is awkward and forced. What's wrong with this definition? Everything. This definition of love is also wrong. Man, they must have blown half the budget on this fancy-ass title. Stimming! Did you hear about that one basketball coach that lived a long time ago? Was that coach autistic and in love? Is telling the story a way of flirting with the cashier? Or are we just padding the runtime? I knew that there was something special with Lenny right away. When exactly is right away? Was he suckling your titties autistically, or did you feel the autistic sperm penetrate the egg? Also, parents. Lenny talking about the stigma around the autism label highlights the real issue of ableism and makes a genuine pull at the heartstrings. That's worth this introduction. I really didn't realize how little Leonard knew until recently. Like, he didn't know anything. That is necessarily your fault. Don't have sex on the first day. Slut shaming. He just doesn't have that positive male role model. That is also your fault. The role model part, not the absent father part. Not to be confused with the identical giant stone penis in Washington State. We tried to treat her as normally as we possibly could. That is the opposite of what you should do. Also, parents. We all evidently come equipped with social antenna. Lindsay didn't have the antenna. Contradicting yourself. I'm not saying anything about the director of the movie. I'm just saying there's a lot of footage showing children in a movie about love and sex. Parents again! I didn't dare hope. Am I sinning pessimism? Yes. You know what he's saying in Hebrew? I have no idea because there are no subtitles. His language is still not up to the way it should be. Shoulds are shitty. Our aim was he should be able to hold down a job. Internalized capitalism. Thank God we accomplished without him being institutionalized. Edith talks about psychiatric prisons as something you accomplish your way out of. I pay for the debts. Me. That's the way it goes. I don't think that that's fair. Kind of chauvinistic. On one hand, thank you, Kathy, for doing my job. On the other hand, parents. See how the shot of Lindsay alone on the escalator while everyone else goes down represents the feelings of uniqueness and isolation she spoke about. This is not a sin, this is actually well done subtle visual storytelling. More of this, please, and less child behind a pane of glass. Lindsay talks about dating on and off this pattern. Why isn't that in the movie? You don't see women anywhere. Have you tried taking down the no girls sign on your pillow fort? Would you want to go to a women's prison for a week? I would I'll probably say yes. There are lots of men who would say yes to that for equally bad reasons. I like girls that are black. Well, that took a sharp turn. Um, fetishizing? Having this on camera, I don't like at all. I don't like the idea of having this conversation on camera at all. Okay. That means turn off the camera, asshole. I didn't edit this movie. I didn't make the decision to include this shot, but it's there, so I have to ask. Is he going to fuck that sandwich? I'll take the shower tonight at 7. No, dude, not in the shower. The bread will just fall apart in your hands. I feel like I'm getting way too much insight into the director's fetish. I don't know that girl. I don't love her. I just... I felt like... I kind of felt bad for her a little bit. Um, sex worker shaming? She told me her name was Diamond. That, that doesn't sound like a real name, does it? There are approximately 2,500 people in the United States named Diamond. I wish I was not autistic. I know you didn't make him say it, but you still chose who to interview. My mom says be autistic, accept it. Autism parents are... You know what? Yes. Autism parents are the best parents in the world, cliche. You found the one family that's the exact opposite of major trends and are presenting it like it's representative. This doesn't say voluntarily checked himself in, so I'm just gonna hold down the dinger for a few seconds on account of weasel words. If you want to make a movie about self-hatred and people dying of cancer, go ahead, but then don't give me this whiplash happy ending. The fact that Lindsay and Dave have been in love for eight years is enough closure without reducing their relationship to a worthless shiny rock. Cities regularly collect money from fountains, but throwing a penny in a lake is just littering. Alex Plank. All autistic people are white. And straight. 